And now we've got the once. And I got to tell you guys something is I went to the mailbox this past week and the music fairy put your new record in my mailbox. It was a CD though, not a record. Are you going to have vinyl? Yes. Yes. yes? <laughs> well, that won't fit, but I, I got to get the vinyl. <laughs> so it's time enough. Yep. Now that's kind of a slang thing, right? Is that is that more of a Newfoundland thing? That title, time enough. It's a bit of a t yeah. bit of a bit of a tip of the hat to home. Yeah, like the expression home will be like like time enough now, mm. like like your like your nan would say. Uh, my nan would say, and she totally messed it up. When people were leaving the house, she will go time enough now. All right. But when she meant it, she <laughs> meant it in the in endearing way. Like we had a, an amazing time. Right. So it's kind of like a backhanded compliment ish kind right, of right. thing. Yeah. You don't, you don't feel comfortable when somebody says it in that way at all. <laughs> well, and so I got to listen to it. It's out May 11th. That's when everybody gets to hear it. Although I, I got to hear it, I think, on CBC earlier. It's the first play yeah. right now, yeah. So here's the thing. I was listening to it. And I mean, your harmonies are just astounding. If you haven't heard the once, I kind of heard Fleetwood Mac. Am I crazy? No. No, you know, that's it. You got, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really heard that. That just kind of classic vibe coming through. And you did the album with Daniel Ledwell. So what was different from doing the last record and coming into this record? <laughs> uh, it's like, anyone? Anyone? Was, <laughs> a there was much more of a band approach, I think, on this one. Like, we, like the, the three of us and, and Dan, like, we, we would go in for each song, like, and we'd, we'd sort of, you know, like, Drums, bass, you know, guitar, but like we'd all just kind of go in the room together and just jam out each song until we yeah. until we were happy with, That's you know, the 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 tempo, the key, like the arrangement. We just jam it out until it felt right. So like, it ended up having a very like a very band kind of kind of vibe from yeah. start to finish, and I think that's a big difference for us. Right. Because normally what we would do is very much a Fleetwood Mac thing and, and you just go in, record your stuff on your own <laughs> and erase what the other people did ahead of you and just redo it. And yeah, like we don't like anybody here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it worked, yeah. right? Turns out we really like each other. So. <laughs> well, that could all change. Which, which means the album will probably tank. <laughs> no, it, it's a beautiful album. That was Ashley McIsaac. Yeah, love Ashley. Love it. <laughs> he, anyway. he always has a good top on, eh? Always we, got, we got good beard oil. You got good beard oil in there, too. I'm rocking some beard oil. They, yeah. pull, they pulled up my beard to see if it was real. So it's very real. It's, it's beautiful. No, I don't know. It's whatever my wife finds that's on sale, I think. <laughs> uh, I got mine in Liberty Village. So I don't know. I think it has some kind of like bergamot into it. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Just full on Crisco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ginger. Grease the pan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just you sque squeeze the beard and like into into a cup of hot water and you get a cup of Earl Grey. It's nice. Well, here's nice. the thing. Settle down now. All right. Okay. Settle down. Okay. Um, so you're going to be touring. You're going to you're not touring. You're going to make us wait though. I see. Yeah. You're only going to no. tour in the fall though, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that when we get to see you? Yes. We're, We're going to spend quite a bit of time at home before we hit the road. We got to learn how to play more than three of the songs, too. <laughs> with, with the exception of uh, hitting across the pond uh, 24 hours after the album's released. Right. Yes, there is that. We'll do that first. And That's you got to tour and perform with Passenger, who had that stupid, crazy, big hit a billion times, Let Her Go. Um, what are some of the plans as far as touring with other people, or is any of that in place right now? You know, we never toured with people before. That's like a first time thing. I think we opened for like Great Big C once. But for the most part, we do our own thing. So, I mean, if an opportunity like that pops up, we'll think about it. But for the most part, we're doing our own thing and having fun doing that. If we learned anything, if we learned anything from the passenger experience, like we we leave everything open to chance, and like like yeah, we're we're open to just whatever fate throws our way. Like we're open for everything. Like we never know. Yeah. So they're performing tonight. What kind of surprises, or can you tell us? Can you tell us anything? Oh, we're going to do one of the new singles. Very exciting. Awesome. Yeah. So stay tuned in. You've got to watch the ones tonight and get the new record May 11th. So get it now. Okay? Amen. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a good one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stop talking, will you? Stop talking. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>